Okay, thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for a Learn with Lutronic webinar about the Clarity 2, Intelligence and Higher Power for Two Times Faster Laser Hair Removal. We are very fortunate to be joined by Bradley S. Bloom, MD, from the Laser and Skin Surgery Center of New York. Let me make a few comments about his terrific background. As a board-certified cosmetic dermatologist, Brad Bloom specializes in cosmetic dermatology, laser dermatology, and Mohs micrographic surgery in New York City. Dr. Bloom completed his dermatology residency training and served as chief resident at the New York University School of Medicine. He then completed a cosmetic, laser, and Mohs micrographic fellowship at the Laser and Skin Surgery Center of New York. This training laid the foundation for Dr. Bloom's deep-rooted philosophy to provide aesthetic rejuvenating treatments that refine and restore a natural and youthful appearance. Dr. Bloom has integrated cutting edge technology with the latest advanced cosmetic techniques to provide his patients with the most up-to-date care. For Dr. Bloom, the primary aim for all cosmetic treatments like lasers and fillers is to offer innovative solutions that create natural looking improvements. Using his medical knowledge and expertise, Dr. Bloom has published articles in numerous peer reviewed journals and has been featured in high-end magazines such as Glamour and Elle for his unique experience and insight on the field of cosmetic dermatology. He also has lectured nationally and internationally and served on work groups for the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery and the American Society for Lasers in Medicine and Surgery. Dr. Bloom also served as representative to the board of directors of the ASLMS. Dr. Bloom sees patients in New York City at the Laser and Skin Surgery Center of New York and is a clinical assistant professor of dermatology at New York University School of Medicine. With that introduction, again, we so much appreciate his uh, time with us to run through this particular presentation. Uh, Dr. Bloom, take it away. Bill, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I think this is a, a fun lecture to talk about because uh, we're going to be introducing uh, a device called the Clarity 2 by Lutronic. And it's, a, uh, I think, a very exciting device. Um, and it's actually changed, I think, the, the way a lot of people feel about doing laser hair removal. It's really uh, a, a, fun, a fun device to use. And so this webinar is not so much a, a how-to, but a, uh, an introduction to this technology and how Lutronic has really enhanced uh, uh, laser hair removal and made it better. Uh, and so with that, we'll get started. So this is the beautiful device, right? Small footprint, looks great, and it's called the Clarity 2. And we'll go through all of the features that I think are what gives Clarity 2 its advantages, right? So the first thing, what is the simple device, right? This is Lutronic's answer for laser hair removal. It's the highest powered Alex Andrite combina combined with a 1064 NDAG platform for laser hair removal. So by combining those two wavelengths of light, you're actually able to treat both lighter skin types and darker skin types. You can treat the entire gamut of skin types because it has two different wavelengths of light that you can choose from. <clears throat> but also, because they've made this system so powerful, you actually can have treatments that are twice as fast because you have larger spot sizes and higher repetition rates. In addition, because it's so powerful, you can achieve higher fluences, which allow for more effective treatments. Something that's very interesting about the device, and we'll go into a little bit more detail as we go in through the slides, is that because it's such a powerful system, you're able to actually use shorter and shorter pulse widths. And there's some new evidence that suggests that you can use these shorter pulse widths to treat finer hairs that we've had difficulty to treat in the past. And the secret and kind of the idea behind this and how Lutronic was able to create such a powerful system uh, was by creating a system that had an entirely digital power supply. And if you watch this video, it's really just kind of showing you the interface of the system, right? Here, using just, uh, just showing you with the Alexandrite system, you can change the pulse width. You can go all the way down, you know, 0.1 millise to 0.1 milliseconds, uh, all the way into, you know, the, the longer pulse durations that we use for laser hair removal and other indications. But you also can see that it allows you to have a very wide range of fluences, and you can achieve very high fluences. Um, it also allows you to adjust those uh, to very, very fast repetition rates. You can see here just on the screen showing 3.6 hertz. I mean, that's incredibly fast. Um, and all of this is allowed while you're also using larger spot sizes, um, which makes for easier, more fun treatments. 
But I think what really uh, sets the Clarity to apart from other systems is that it has this new technology that Lutronic is calling the IntelliTrack. Uh, and what you can see here, this is the handpiece. It's the handpiece that's used for every treatment with this, uh, uh, with this system, except you can see that little clip at the very, at the very base uh, basically snaps into place and allows you to do this auto rolling over the skin. And it does a rolling treatment, which ensures better coverage. And we'll go into a little bit more detail because I think this is really something that separates this device from all other cryogen-based hair removal systems that are out there. And what you can see here is, so this is a close-up of that handpiece, right? You see where the laser aperture is. And then you can see that these IntelliTrack technology tips snap right onto the handpiece, right? So it's not like it's a whole new handpiece. It's simply just a small little tip that snaps in place. And there are these little rollers on there. And those rollers are actually checking the speed at which you're moving your handpiece. And then you plug in the percentage overlap that you want to have the best treatment. So in this case example, where, where you can see the box in red, you can see we set it to 18%. And that's the amount of overlap that we wanted to do for this particular treatment. And then as you do the treatment, it's monitoring how fast your hand is moving. And it's adjusting, the system is adjusting the number of pulses it's placing based on how fast your hand is moving so that you can really ensure you have proper overlap. Uh, and this is a really intelligent system. It actually will tell you when you're going too fast and will tell you to slow down. Um, so I think this really has made uh, hair removal, I think, just much more effective. In fact, I think it makes it safer um, and certainly makes it uh, a pleasure to use. Here you can see a video. So this is of uh, Dr. Friedman in Israel. Uh, using the system, and you can just see how easy it is, right? He's simply rolling it along the skin, rolling it along the skin, and the rollers are measuring how fast he's going and placing those pulses at the appropriate space apart to ensure the guaranteed uh, overlap. So really easy, really simple. And this is to show you uh, just graphically the benefit of using IntelliTrack versus, let's say, conventional freehand, right, where you're in a, in a more stamping method, right? With the stamping method, you place these pulses and you're hoping that you're going to guarantee a certain amount of overlap. Uh, the issue is that, you know, it's a rather tedious process when you're doing large areas. And unless you're incredibly meticulous, people start to have poorer and poorer overlap, right? Some of it's more overlap, some of it's less overlap. And all of that, in the end, leads to inconsistent coverage. And it also means that it takes longer, right? And I think that has two, you know, it has implications beyond that, right? So if you look on the screen, you can see that actually some of these pulses were pulsed almost on top of each other, right? Which is not ideal. And so I think there's also a safety issue here. Now with this IntelliTrack, you can see because it's a rolling system and you know that you're getting a certain coverage and overlap, you can ensure that you have better total coverage that's more even, and by doing that, I think it makes it in some ways safer, but certainly makes it a lot more consistent, right? So you have better effect, and it's certainly a lot faster. And this was a, a mathematical uh, equation where they said, oh, well, how much faster can we be than traditional laser systems? And that's what Lutronic looked at. Mathematically, how much coverage can we get per second with the Clarity 2 versus some of the older systems? And what they've shown is, that they're actually mathematically able to get two times greater speed. But they took that even further. And so this is a video. Um, so what they did is they, they worked with uh, a colleague of mine, a good friend, his name is Jason Posner. He's a plastic surgeon in uh, Florida. Went to the, their office and said, okay, well, in real life, how much faster is it actually? Because they said, okay, yeah, sure, mathematically, we can prove that the, what's called the geometric treatment coverage speed, how much area per second you can cover is two times faster than older systems mathematically. But let's look in real life. And so what they did is they took Dr. Posner's system and they said, okay, his older system, and they compared it to the Clarity 2. And so these two videos side by side are of a person getting laser hair removal. And what you can see, and both of these videos are played at twice the speed of what's actually occurring, but they're both being played at that speed. So you can imagine them as you know, equal. Um, and what you can see is that with using the IntelliTrack system and the Clarity 2, it's a much faster procedure, right? And the reason that is, is because the Clarity 2 has the IntelliTrack technology, allows for larger spot sizes, as well as that faster repetition rate.
But what else, right? So the system is also just really well engineered. It's intuitive, easy ergonomics. It's a single fiber. Both wavelengths come out of that fiber. Both wavelengths can come out of this, that handpiece. Uh, very small footprint, uh, touch parameters, and very quick start times. Uh, also very easy to switch between the two modes, right? You can switch between the Alexandrite 755 nanometer for your lighter skin types. Uh, typically I'm using that in my skin types one to three. And then you can switch to your 1064 NDAG for your darker skin types, typically skin types four and up. And this is just a video showing you how rapidly you can go from standby to ready, right? The system is within 10 seconds is able to go into the ready mode, right? So these are all things that add efficiency to a device that make it easier to use, more pleasurable to use, but also make you and your practice more productive. And here a video just showing you how easy it is to switch out between the different modes, right? You can use this thing, the system for laser hair removal with a 22 millimeter spot, and then all of a sudden go to an NDAG very, very quickly, um, all very easily, right? So here just swapping out that IntelliTrack system tip for a different tip, for a different indication. You can take out the window, right? And these windows are, are highly durable windows um, that ensure safety uh, for both the handpiece and the device. And here showing you how you can swap out these handpieces that allow for uh, basically different spot sizes, right? And each, and each, cal each uh, chamber, each cartridge um, can do up to three different wavelengths, right? So for example, one of them does eight, 10, and 12 millimeters. Uh, and there are other ones that allow for 18, 15, and 22 millimeters, but really, really easy, very, very quick. I also like, I don't know if you noticed it, but the screen changed color, right? So when you switch from the Alexandrite to the NDAG, the entire background color changes. And I think that's a safety feature. Right? It allows us to know, oh, we're in one mode versus another mode, right? Because you certainly don't want to be using the Alexandrite mode on your darker skin types by mistake. And so by completely changing the background color, I think it really brings it to your attention and increases safety. So here's a before and after of laser hair removal. Right, so before and afters for laser, laser hair removal are never very fun and exciting. Um, they work, right? We know they work. Um, but just, as, just to show you an example here showing treating the upper back. What I think is very interesting and I think that is really exciting uh, is some of the work that uh, Dr. David Friedman in Israel has done. And he's used this system. He was one of the first adopters of the system of the Clarity 2. And he's used the device trying to take advantage of these higher, po higher powers and shorter pulse widths. So he, what he's done is he's now treated over 500 patients for finer facial hair using a one millisecond pulse duration in the Alexandrite system. And he's gonna present this data at the American Society for Lasers and Medicine Surgery meeting, which I think is, uh, I'm very much looking forward to. But here are some of his early results. And what you can see is before and after a single treatment, he had really, really nice results in treating these finer hairs. Um, something that I think typically we've been, we've uh, steered away from. Uh, there was a fear of something called paradoxical hypertrichosis or hair regrowth or excess hair growth in response to some of our older lasers. Um, but he seems to have some very promising results. And what he's gonna share is that he's had not only increased efficacy, but he's had reduced patient discomfort, reduced side effects and increased patient satisfaction using these settings. Something that's also very interesting is that the clinical endpoint when we're doing laser hair removal is to see something called perifollicular edema, which is basically swelling around the hair follicles. And it represents enough injury to the hair, to the hair follicle, to the, the stem cells, the source of these uh, hairs, uh, that you've damaged them sufficiently to uh, have long-term results and long-term benefit. And typically when we were treating finer hairs, it was very, we didn't see these, these endpoints. However, using these settings that Dr. Friedman is presenting, uh, he sees them actually quite consistently, even when he's treating fine hairs. And so here you can see that close-up view showing that swelling around those hair follicles. But what can you use this system beyond just hair removal, right? So this is an amazing hair removal system. I think it's pretty obvious, right, that this is the, a complete and true system for treating all skin types for hair removal. But you can also use this system for other things, right? It, you can use it for other indications. You can use it for pigment reduction. You can use it for vascular re reduction, for re skin rejuvenation, for hair removal. You can use it for all those things. If you understand how the device works and take advantage of all the things it can actually do. Um, and 
here I'm going to highlight a few of those. Right, so here you can use the NDAG portion of this laser, the 1064 NDAG, to treat vascular lesions. A beautiful result treating what's called a venous lake. These are hugely impactful treatments because these vascular proliferations actually have historically been treated with excision, um, which can leave scars. This is an amazing result uh, after just a single treatment. And obviously using very different settings than you would necessarily use for hair removal. You can also use that 1064 to treat uh, telangiectasias on the nose. You know, here you can see an example from Dr. Friedman, really beautiful result treating these big juicy uh, blood vessels that are on the nose. Uh, I think it's important to note here that you have to be very, very careful when using an NDAG laser on the nose because you don't want to damage other tissues, right? You don't want to leave any depressions, leave any marks. Um, but he's done a really beautiful job in erasing these blood vessels. You can also use it to treat angiomas here before and after a single treatment. You can also use this device for rejuvenation. And so what Lutronic has done with the Clarity 2 is they've added a real-time temperature sensing system. So if you look at this arrow here, it's pointing to this real-time temperature sensor that measures the skin temperature and allows you to use microsecond pulse durations. So using the 1064 NDAG, using microsecond pulse durations, um, you can adjust your fluence at about a repetition rate of about 10 hertz to do rejuvenation and to reduce redness in the skin. And the idea here is that you're creating heat within the dermis and heat within that der the dermis should stimulate this co so it should stimulate collagen for the rejuvenation. And then you're also, because these pulsations are so short, you're probably shrinking some of the microvasculature, some of those very, very small blood vessels to reduce overall redness. Um, but I think it's a very interesting, and this is a very clever system, thing to add onto a system that is just a great laser hair removal system, right? We're now using it for something else. Uh, and I think with this added temperature sensor, um, it allows us to do those procedures very safely, very easily. And here's a video just showing you what that temperature sensor looks like, right? So obviously we're just showing you it on the, on the arm here, but you can see as you go over the skin, if you look where it says skin temperature, you can see it goes into the yellow. It's monitoring what temperature you're achieving, right? And you want to achieve somewhere around 42 degrees. Um, you don't want to exceed though 46, 47 degrees, one for comfort, but also for safety. And what's built into the system is once it reaches a certain uh, temperature, you're warned about that, that you're, 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 the temperature is too hot. Um, so it's increased safety and expanding the indications of the device. So in summary, the Clarity 2, I think it's very obvious, this is the premier cryogen-based laser hair removal system out there. It has the highest powered 755 Alexandrite and 1064 system, so you can treat all skin types. Because of some of this new data that's coming out of Israel with Dr. Friedman, I think that there's some exciting indications to even treating some finer hairs that we typically haven't been able to do. I think by far and away, the biggest advance the system has is this inte these intelligent capabilities, that IntelliTrack. That IntelliTrack really makes the, sy the system special and unique. Uh, and obviously I think it's an, a very easy to use platform. So if you, you kind of want to ask yourself, why would I invest in the Clarity 2 versus any other hair removal system? Well, I think for anyone who's doing, who really is just trying to buy a system for hair removal, it's clear, right? Because it's so high powered, because it has the IntelliTrack capabilities, you can do things more quickly, right? You can do them more efficiently, more quickly, up to two times faster coverage. So I think that means that when you can do them more quickly, I think it means it's less tedious. Personally, when I'm actually performing the procedure, I think it's more comfortable to do. And when you're doing things that are easier and more comfortable, I think you end up getting better results. And better results make patients happier. Uh, and that's our goal. Um, I also think that with better consistency, more consistent coverage that we get with the IntelliTrack system, uh, that can lead to better results. Um, which means happier patients also. Uh, I think it also potentially can lead to uh, safer treatments, which I think is one of the most important things that we all do. Um, so faster, better quality treatments equals happy patients. And then, you know, if you want to take this system and if you, if you understand it, and certainly uh, Lutronic offers training for this, um, you can add on applications, right? You can use the same device to treat vascular lesions for rejuvenation, and it can all be added on very easily. And by doing that, you're really improving your productivity uh, and enhancing your return on your investment here. Uh, I think this is a, a very unique system 
and just simply a pleasure to use. So here's just a real summary slide showing you kind of these highlighted features that we talked about. But I think to understand you, the, real, the real message here is to say that this is a true complete laser hair removal platform, right? You can treat all skin types, you can treat very, very coarse dark hairs and even treat some of our finer hairs that we haven't been able to treat historically. Um, a, a fun system to use. So with that, I think we're gonna head into a question and answer discussion with, uh, we'll have Bill take over here. Terrific, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Bloom. That was uh, very well done. And I'm sure the uh, audience uh, appreciates uh, your, uh, your education session with them. Um, we've taken some questions and I'm gonna try to group some of these together and I'll try to uh, feed some of these to you based on the feedback. But uh, again, thank you for your time, Dr. Bloom, and uh, very helpful to, to have that review. Uh, one question that I've seen a few uh, hits on is, what sets the Clarity 2 apart uh, from other long pulse Alex YAG systems? And what have you appreciated most about that? So it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great question. You know, I think the, really the main things that set the Clarity 2 apart are its incredibly high power, which has expanded its ability to create uh, shorter pulse durations and higher fluences and greater repetition rates. And that partnered with the IntelliTrack system has just made for more productive laser hair removal treatments. Um, it's, made, it's made it very easy. Um, it's made it very efficient. And I actually think it's actually made it more fun to actually do these treatments. Um, and I think we get better, more consistent, more efficacious treatments with it. And I mean, that, that makes it very unique. Great. Um, one question is, how long have you been using the Clarity 2 in New York and how has it performed for your practice? No, it's a great question. So the Clarity 2, we had our installation in about September. So that's about eight months now. Uh, and I have to tell you, it's, it's a workhorse for laser hair removal in our practice. So all laser procedures in our practice are performed by physicians. Um, that's just specific to our office. Uh, and I have to tell you, you know, we, have, we are very fortunate in our practice to have many, many devices, over 100 devices. Um, and I will tell you that we have physicians in our practice who actually come to the floor that the Clarity 2 is on just to do their treatments because it makes it, I think, quicker, more effective, and it's just better results. Terrific. A um, question, uh, I think you did a great job uh, presenting the IntelliTrack, and so a few questions about that. Uh, if I group this together, uh, there's a general question, knowing that IntelliTrack is probably used uh, for larger hair removal areas like legs, arms, back, and chest. Um, the question comes up, are you really treating in half the time? Are you really finding that in your experience that you're going about twice as fast? Are, can you comment on that? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, I, I don't time myself. Uh, so I, I don't know that I could tell you exactly to the moment, which is why I really, actually really appreciated uh, Dr. Posner's uh, video that was included here. Um, but I can tell you that the treatments go significantly more quickly, um, whether it's exactly twice as fast. Uh, I, I don't know. I can tell you that I'm happier doing the procedure. I think I finish much more quickly. I notice that particularly when we're, when we're treating areas like the, a full back. Uh, it makes those treatments good, just go so much more smoothly and so much more easily. Great. A uh, question about smoke evacuators. Uh, my understanding is uh, most hair removal practices will end up employing some kind of a smoke evacuator just for safety. But uh, post COVID-19 and as people get back into ramping up practices again, could you share your thoughts uh, about that, and perhaps what device you use and uh, where you see that headed for laser hair removal practices? You know, I actually think it's very important. I think, you know, irrespective of, of, of the, um, you know, the current COVID pandemic, um, laser hair removal, we know that the plume that's generated from laser hair removal is something that we don't want to be inhaling. That work came out of, uh, out of, out of Harvard, um, Matt Auburn's group. And they, they studied actually the material that's being vaporized and the things that you would normally, that you would inhale if you didn't use a smoke evacuator. Uh, and it's very clear that you don't want to be inhaling those things. Um, and so I, I recommend that anyone who's doing laser hair removal have a, um, an effective smoke evacuation system uh, and know how to use it appropriately so that it's close to where the laser is actually firing to ensure that you're actually suctioning up that plume 
uh, so you don't inhale it. And I think everyone should have that. Uh, and, I, and I'm happy if, you know, if anyone has any questions, they certainly can email me about the, the, different, the different vacuum systems that, that we've used. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's important. I think we should, all, and we should all do it. I would say it's standard of care. Great. A question, I, I know that uh, the focus, especially at your practice, Dr. Bloom, is, is hair removal and being uh, effective and efficient with it. But uh, I wonder if you could just comment if you've either had a chance or have spoken with colleagues about using the Clarity 2 as a platform. Uh, as you can imagine, there are obviously some customers really decide to make that investment for the platform purpose rather than just hair removal. But I wonder if you had any comments as to um, you know, how it performs or at least its capabilities for performing things beyond hair removal. I mean, certainly with the 1064 that's in there, you can use that for a, quite a number of indications, uh, particularly some vascular indications, um, things, like, things like the things that we presented, the venous lake uh, or certain telangiectasias and blood vessels. What I would say is this is not the system that you, if you were just wanting to buy a system to treat brown spots, if you were just trying to buy a system to treat blood vessels, this wouldn't be your number one choice necessarily, right? You know, Lutronic makes lots of beautiful systems that are designed specifically for those indications. What I think it's important to understand is that if you understand the technology and you understand that the system is so well engineered and well designed, you can actually take advantage of this amazing hair removal system and do the, some of these indica uh, treat some of these indications uh, quite effectively, um, particularly some of these vascular indications. Great, thank you. A uh, question about the, uh, the shorter pulse widths, the, in particular the one millisecond setting. Uh, you presented <clears throat> some of the work that Dr. Friedman had worked on. Um, have you had a chance to try some of these shorter pulse widths for those finer, more challenging uh, facial hairs? Um, have you had a chance to experience that in New York? So to date, I actually have had, had a chance to, to use it. Not as many, not, certainly not 500 cases. Um, and, and, and when <laughs> right. it comes to overall experience, I'd have to bow, bow to Dr. Freeman on this one. Um, but in the, in, the, in the handful of cases that I've actually treated, I've actually seen very nice results, um, particularly what I, what I was impressed by was seeing that perifocular edema, that swelling around the hair follicles um, when treating uh, these finer hairs that typically we don't see with uh, our, our other systems. Um, so I think that suggests uh, some very promising results. And I think the, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to see my, more from my personal experience, but I'm also really excited to see uh, Dr. Friedman's presentation at, at the ASLMS. Terrific. Uh, let me sneak one more question in, and uh, it's a little bit of a collection. People uh, uh, that view these webinars are always eager to learn and pick up uh, clinical pearls where they can, especially from an expert like yourself. I wonder if you could share some of your pearls that uh, you've learned over time with laser hair removal, very generally, such as intervals that you find are just right, or are there certain settings for certain types of, you know, types of skin and types of hair that you feel like are your, are your go-tos just from years of experience? No, I think probably the, the biggest pearls um, are, are really to understand which wavelength of light to use for which skin types. You know, the Alexandrite is, an, is, a, is a great wavelength of light um, for treating laser hair removal. Um, it's incredibly efficient, but you certainly wouldn't want to use it on some of your darker skin types, especially when you have the 1064, which is effective for them. Um, and certainly much safer for darker skin types. So I think to understand that I typically will limit the set, the Alexandrite to skin types one to three. Uh, some physicians will limit it to skin types, you know, one to very light fours. Uh, and then the 1064, I typically use for skin types three, yeah, uh, you know, skin types four, five, and six. Uh, I think that's important to understand. It's really important to understand uh, asking a patient if they're tan but also checking, right? Because sometimes someone doesn't even realize that they're tan. Um, and by, by, by just asking them to expose an area that normally would have been um, hidden by a bathing suit and just looking at that skin and comparing it to the skin that would have been otherwise sun exposed, you can tell whether or not someone has in tan and it changes whether or not uh, you would recommend uh, doing a hair removal treatment, right? You certainly don't want to do hair removal treatments on uh, newly actively tanned skin um, to decrease the risk of problems. I think that's probably the biggest take home is even if someone says they're not tan, I still think that it's, it, it's, it's our duty uh, as clinicians to, to check and make sure that we're doing things safely. And it's a two second thing and it makes a big difference. If you ever have any doubt, you can always do a test spot um, 
on the skin. But it's important to understand with test spots for laser hair removal, you have to wait quite a bit of time before you actually see the clinical endpoint uh, of that would mark for an indication, right? Certainly, you don't want to see, uh, you know, any 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 burn or pain or blistering. Uh, but sometimes that can take a there can be quite a, a delay in seeing that. So uh, if if you if have any doubt at all, you can always do a test spot. Great, very thorough response. Appreciate that, Dr. Bloom. So I think uh, I know that there are still some some uh, some folks that had questions, and certainly those can be emailed to us. We'll continue to respond to those follow-up emails after uh, after this session. And again, once again, I want to thank everyone in the audience for taking their time to uh, learn with Lutronic, in this case, uh, about the Clarity 2 uh, for the, this particular presentation. And again, I want to thank Dr. Bloom for his time. And if you just would advance that next slide, Dr. Bloom, so there's contact information uh, at the end. Uh, again, thank you to all that participated. And uh, we will be posting this probably within a day or two of uh, the presentation so it can be accessed through our Lutronic website. Uh, thank you again and have a great rest of the day. My pleasure and thank you for having me. Thank you. Take care.